All right, today I'm working on a 2018 GMC Acadia, and the battery was bad or replaced it, but this battery terminal will not tighten up properly. Then this part of this wedge assembly is missing. Of course, it seems tight now, doesn't it? But what we got is this, it's a two-part wedge system on this thing, and the bottom part is missing. I couldn't find one specifically for this GMC, but I know I've replaced them on Ford, so we, we looked it up and found one for the Ford. And see, that's half of the wedge right there. And the bottom piece is missing. And of course, the bolt right there. And what I found was this Dorman part number, 926-875. I'll put a link to where you can buy this in the description and possibly in the comments. And what the kit has in it, it has several bolts, nuts, and the wedges. What we want to do is we want to stick that bolt in there. And I don't think the old bolt will fit. No, the, the old bolt won't fit in there, so we're going to use the new bolts. And we're also going to put a little bit of grease in here so it'll slide properly. And I also got to make sure that this is cleaned. And that comes out like that. Now that goes like that. We're gonna set the wedge down like this. Put the bolt up from the bottom side and you gotta be careful that that bolt head is lined up square because if it gets off offset like that, when you put this back down there, it'll break it because this is just some cheap cast metal. Ooh, that'll scare you on it a little bit. Just the capacitors charging back up. And I'm gonna use some dielectric grease on it just because I have some. At least I think I got some. It'll make it slide. All right, we got the bolt lined up. almost lined up we got the wedge in place is the top the bottom wedge in place and now we're going to put the top wedge in place and it goes in the opposite direction makes us make, winds up making a cube and we'll stick the nut down on there you know i got some mismatched stuff here let's see what we got That stuff with varying size holes. I might be able to go back and put that bigger bolt in there. Because it comes with larger bolts here. The main thing I'm interested in is having the the larger hex in there. And that goes in there, so that should work fine. I'm going to stick that on there. And that's giving a little bit of trouble going down, so let's see if we can stick. That might, yeah, that's got some burrs in it. I'll have to run a, a tool in there, but in the meantime, let's see if this one will fit. That one fits just fine. And it looks like it should do the job. So I'll use some of these factory parts and see about getting it together. 
And that's got that snugged up and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this battery terminal out. Just double clean this one again. Now, I'm gonna stick that down on there as best we can. And then we got that loose. We're gonna take and spread this apart and get that slid down in there as far as we can. Because you want this out so this has plenty of room to wedge back in. And I normally just kind of beat down with these with my tool a little bit, but I just got this replaced. I'm very happy about it. So I'm probably gonna stop doing that and switch to using a, a hammer or, or a brass drift. that down there as far as we can and now we should just be able to tighten that down and that makes the wedge slide and makes that tight so even though it's not listed for it the 926 875 kit from Dorman will work to repair the wedge clamp on the negative battery terminal on a 2018 GMC Acadia. And this one's fixing to be done. Boy, that looks good, don't it? And I wind up, I got a bunch of extra parts that I can use on another vehicle. And another one fixed, Sparky out.